Frontly just keeps getting better and better. They just released this template yesterday, which leverages AI to create a blog post. Let's just create one AI for nonprofits. We simply hit generate. And in the background, this is making a call to open AI, producing an output and providing it back directly in the Frontly interface. Now, this is really cool, but it gets even better. Look at what happens when we click on the open editor button. It opens up this new page. And in this new page, we have this editor, which actually responds to raw markdown. So let's actually give a topic here. We're just going to put title in single hashtag. You're going to do a double hashtag for subtitle. On the left side of the editor, we have the markdown. And on the right hand side, we actually have it formatted so we can see it really nicely. Now, where does this lend its use case for? The perfect AI prompt generator. So I'm actually going to show you and we're going to build it in real time how we're going to go about this. So we're just going to tweak this a little bit. We're going to um, create, well, we're just going to change this. We're going to say prompt, prompts instead of blogs. We're going to have topics, titles, and bodies that can all stay the same. We're just going to delete all of this previous data. So we're just going to start with a blank sheet and we're going to jump into Frontly and let's start renaming this. So instead of blog posts, we are going to call this uh, blog post generator. We'll just call this prompts. This can become a, a little library of all the prompts that we create. And instead of generate blog post, we're going to generate prompt. So we may not change everything, but Let's now come to the editor page. I don't think there's anything we need to change here except for we're simply going to be changing the name from edit blog post to edit prompt. So let's just change that here. Edit prompt. And we'll save that. And then we're going to come to this blog posts page. So this one we're going to change to prompt. Um, we'll change. Ah, yeah. So we're going to save that. We we'll save this, and let's come to the generator. Okay. So this is where we're going to make most of the changes. So welcome to blogger.ar. We'll just say welcome to the prompt generator. And um, here's how to get started. Enter topic to generate a prompt. Let's just delete the rest, and we've got and edit the blog post or generate another. So we'll just say edit the prompt or generate another. It's that simple. Perfect. In the success area, we're just going to say preview prompt below. And we've got a local state that actually shows that here we're going to change generate blog post to generate prompt. And then really the last thing we're going to do is actually change the action that happens on the back end. So once we click on the action, once that submit buttons happened, we have an open AI request. And this is where you can change your prompt. So at the moment, we've got generate a blog post for around 300 words in length in markdown format based on the following topic. We are using uh, ChatGPT4. Let's update it. We're getting an object response, title, body. So we're going to replace it with this prompt generator prompt. And this is just asking the model to act as an experienced prompt engineer is well crafted at creating prompts for LLMs, create a well structured prompt. And we've got a bit of an example one below that it can reference. So we are just going to replace that. And we're going to say topic uh, or put, let's see, we've got act to go instructions define. Okay, so we've got input there. So we're just going to replace that input from the form into the section of the prompt there, we're going to use ChatGPT four. we're going to get an object. So the title, this is going to be the title of the prompt. And then the body is going to be the body content of the prompt in markdown formatting. All right, now this is this is where it's going to get really great. We're updating it to the Google sheet and updating the local state. So that's fine. 
So let's just refresh this. Let's have a look at what we're looking at now. So a few things haven't been updated. It's saying blog post here. I've still got it in the menu, but I think you're getting the idea. We've got welcome to the prompt generator. Let's generate a prompt. So we want to create social media posts and we're going to click generate. Now in the back end, this should be leveraging that prompt generator prompt that we used to create a really well structured social media prompt. Now this is where it gets really good. When we click on the open editor here, we should see the markdown, which is really good here. We've got the instructions. So we've got act as so the right hand side is only doing the raw markdown if you actually have the hashtags and the spaces, but we can do a single hashtag as well, which makes it looks really good. So we've got act as you're a social media strategist who's been hired to help rewrite a LinkedIn post as a tweet. Um, so I don't think that's exactly what we asked for, but I might need to need to change my prompt to have a look at that. We got the goal. Your goal is to condense the contents of a LinkedIn post into a tweet. I mean, for the task at hand in terms of rewriting a LinkedIn post as a tweet, I think this is really good. But what's great about this now is that you have a raw markdown prompt that you can take and use in ChatGPT. So it makes it really easy to actually just generate a prompt and you can see we can save that here and it should come into this blog post section, which ultimately should be renamed a prompt library. And if you click on that, you can actually have this here and tweak it over time. So I think that's really, really cool. Let's give it one more prompt, uh, write a fundraising email and click generate. So really it should provide us something. I mean, looking at this here, I think because it actually leveraged the example more than um, the input. Okay, so I definitely messed up a bit here. Let's jump back to the prompt and see what the problem is. Here is the problem. I have the input as the incorrect variable and it's actually in the example. So <laughs> this is clearly why it's not working. So let's put our input at the variable that the user submitted there and the example, we're going to have an example output as below. So let's just give it a couple of spaces. So it does do nice raw markdown and we'll just end, end those. All right. So let's give it a save and let's rerun that now. So we're going to run this now again, fundraising email for nonprofit click generate. And now that we fixed those variables that are put in the wrong place in the prompt, we should get a much better output. Again, act as a skilled copywriter tasked with creating compelling fundraising email for a nonprofit organization. Great content. Let's open up the editor. Look at it here. You can click on this little button. You can see it in full screen, right hand side, really nicely formatted, easy for us to look at and actually understand the different sections. Once we've made the changes, we can simply copy the section on the left hand side and use that in ChatGPT. So I think this is really, really cool. I'm just going to make a couple more changes and have the blog posts as the prompt library. And then I think I'm going to publish this because I think it's a really, really cool tool to help us generate AR prompts. So if you haven't already, definitely check out friendly.ai. It is the most amazing interface. I think it's going to be huge for creating these types of AI tools in a really nice, easy way that we can then provide to users in a really make it really accessible to leverage AI. So give it a go. Let me know what you think and look forward to seeing you in the next video.